What's up everyone? Panda here. Uh, I just got a phone call about an hour ago from HR about something that happened yesterday, but something that happened last week. And um, I've been very compliant, very transparent, and some of the colleagues started, you know, accusing me of doing something wrong. So last week I had an individual, civilian, came in, do some groceries on the floor, then do some money on the on the top of the grocery bags. I try to give it back to them. It's in front of their camera, and not only at intake, but actually at the corridor, at the courtyard. So everything is captured on film. So apparently, I was trying to be discreet about it because I never had a situation like this happen at intake. But anyway, fast forward. I wrote my incident report. I wrote my, um, I sent this off to HR right away the same day that it happened. But I get a call about that, but not a call about what happened yesterday. But she tells me that it's, this is on her bottom of her to-do list. But if it is on the bottom of to-do list, If it's on the bottom of to-do lists, why are you not addressing the fact that I was been discriminated, I was attacked, I was threatened by staff? That should be one of your other priorities instead of calling me about someone giving a donation. Now, I put the money in the envelope in front of the camera and because I was, uh, I, I guess other colleagues thought that I should have gave that money out to them maybe, I don't know. But today, I can't deal with it. It's too much stress. Like I'm sitting here programming cameras and doing my job as a photographer trying to make money because at this time there's no money to be made. And apparently I told her I can't do this. I might not even come in to work on Monday. I can't do this. I go into the Outlook email to email them and basically they lock me out of everything. They locked me out, that's right, because they know I was telling the fucking truth. You are more worried about a fucking donation that a civilian gave in, more about me getting threatened by staff and the unprofessionalism at staff. That's pretty damn bad. So, I'm on my way right there, right now, going to drop off their keys. So, there will be no more longer of this idiocracy and bullshit that goes on at Porch Light. Obviously, I don't think they understand how to keep good workers. They want to keep the assholes and, and the asshats. But now, I try, to warn, I try to warn the director of the shelter what I was going to do because this is too stressful. This is, this is causing so much stress in my life. This is causing too much stress for my roommate. This is causing too much stress for me right now because now I gotta figure out how to make money when we are at a pandemic at this time. We got, the United States has more deaths than China now and, and, and Portsai is worried about a, a hundred dollar donation? Jesus, this is insane. It's unprofessional. But no one wants to address the ongoing issues that I'm having with staff. The threatened, the unprofessional. The, the, just yesterday, I went to go pick up my iPhone cable, which was not there, and the bottle of water that I left. I was stopped by another staff asking me what I'm doing here. He had no authority to do that. So, therefore, let them deal with the problems on their own. I'm done. So, I, I just feel discriminated just now. I, I feel really discriminated because they rather bother me on my day off, Friday, and mess up my weekend and my mood to talk about an inconsistency in people's stories. Listen, I'm the person that dealt with the problem, right? Professionally. I'm the one that picked up the money and did it professionally and tried to give back to the civilian and tried to tell them to give it to Portslake directly. I'm the one that tried to make it, yes, 
I could be at fault here. I, I put it in my back pocket because when he, the per, when the civilian walked off when I tried to give it back to him, this is on camera. What am I supposed to do? The guests, our individual guests, are looking for that money. So I figure I give it to back. I give it to Porsche anyway. Put it in my back pocket and tell everyone I gave it back to him. So no one will know. Then I told staff after after we were done with intake that I didn't want to save this around the guests. But yes, I still have it. I didn't count it. I don't know how much it was. It's on the microphone. It's on the camera. I know what to do at intake. I'm not stupid. And I'm not a thief. So, but anyway, you see that happen? I t see, every time something good happens to me, something bad always happens after. Have you guys noticed that freaking trend on this channel? Holy shit. This is why, <laughs> oh man. This is why I, 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 I rather work for donations, like you guys support this channel and everything else, but man, guys, you know, <laughs> I'm waiting for the bus. So, and buses are limited. So, and uh, yeah, I just feel very abused by how Porchlight decided to quickly cancel my accounts. But it took them a month or a couple, I would say two weeks to not have the other gentleman that was stalking me and harassing me named John. It took them a couple weeks to actually cancel the emails. Actually, the emails kept persistent until this year from that email. So, and you guys are so quick to cancel my, uh, my service point account and my Outlook account. Why? That's suspicious. That is very suspicious. That the organization quickly just give me no authorization to access my the emails that I sent to them so I can have an archive of that. That is a violation. I think I have rights to cover my ass on any any part. Is that the bus? Yes. Woo! I'm glad that the bus is working. Yeah, Middleton is Coming from Middleton, it's just a, it's a bitch. It's it's just not it's not pleasant. But anyway, I feel bad. I feel sorry for the director of the shelter because they moved to a new shelter. But I can't deal with this. This is too much. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm on my way over there.